I took a piece of fiction I wrote. I asked the AI to analyze it and break it down. And now I'm taking what it broke down and I'm asking it to turn that back into fiction writing. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm basically seeing, is that what it needs to know? Let's uh, play in 3.5 real fast. What information would an AI need to write a chapter for a fiction novel? Write a chapter for a fiction novel. This is kind of important, but I think that this is also overwhelming. So when we sit here and we look at this and we go, my goodness, it needs the plot summary. It needs the character descriptions. It needs the setting details. It needs the character purpose, cultural and world building details and open-endedness. Wow. Now, I don't know about you, but when I sit down to write, a, to write a chapter, a lot of this is actually in my subconscious. I'm not actually identifying all of these individual components. This is what the crux of writing with AI is. How do we get the computing power that happens in our subconscious to happen with the AI. Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because if your beats are not performing the way you want them to, print out this list and check them against this list to identify the components that are missing. That's what I do with my beats. How about this? Can you rewrite that list so that it's truncated and give specific examples of prompting for each? Let's see what we get. So this is, we're reverse engineering and we're stuck, we're stuck in the reverse part of it. It thinks it needs to pull this out of an existing piece of fiction work of like, I've given it a chapter and then this prompt extracts the character description. Now that's not bad because you can use that methodology to start learning the vocabulary that the AI thinks about your own writing. I'm going to demo that real fast in case I didn't make sense to anybody. Let's say I don't know how to write beats for my own current writing, because all of us have writing that we've done so far. So I've got this chapter one. Let's just grab tools word count. 853 words. Okay, so that's a little bit less. So I've got 853 words on my jump cut. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I'm, I'm finding with my beats that it's just not getting the characters, the character purpose right very well. Number four. It, it, it's kind of Mary Suing when it's writing, and I don't like the Mary Sue. I'm going to open up um, a new chat in a new window, and we're going to be using 3.5 for this. We can use 4, but I'm just going to use 3.5 for just the illustration purposes. And I'm going to grab this prompt that it's at illustrate how the protagonist's doubts intensify as they face their first moral dilemma, setting the stage for inner conflict. So I don't know how that's actually going to work with this. So read this piece of writing. So I have that and I'm going to put stars and I can put that other piece in there of the illustrate how the protagonist doubts. That's what the AI came up with. I don't know that this is really going to work because I don't know that she had her first moral dilemma, but we'll see what it does. It does. So it's got Ellie Bishop as the protagonist. Um, you'll see that it's very good at analyzing and you can start to understand when you do this exercise, the whole purpose of this exercise is to start understanding how the AI understands writing in the sense of like when it reads a piece of fiction, what, what is it taking out of it? Because if you can understand what it's taking out of it, then you can understand how to write that in a way that it's going to, um, it's going to be able to write what you want it to write. Does this make sense to everyone a little bit? So now what I'm going to do when it has this, I'm going to grab this stuff, this information right here. Okay. And I'm going to use yet another prompt, an, another, another window, 3.5. And I'm going to say, read this. Now, turn that all of the above into a piece of fiction writing with dialogue and characterization for an urban fantasy novel. So let me explain my methodology here. This was like the original research we did for kind of figuring out how we needed to, to write in a way, how we needed to communicate with the AI in order to get it to write what we wanted to write. I took a piece of fiction I wrote. I asked the AI to analyze it and break it down. And now I'm taking what it broke down and I'm asking it to turn that back into fiction writing. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm basically seeing, is that what it needs to know? Because if it needs, how many of you would be able, if you just knew that this was the format it needed, you could just write these sets of instructions to give to the AI. 
show of hands. So let's turn all that into a, a fiction novel. O M G. <laughs> now, what I really want, what I really want to demonstrate here is this. Okay. All right. So I started with dialogue. Oh, you know what? It changed the tense because I didn't tell it to write in first person. But regardless, I'm still happy with it. I poked my fork into the slice of key lime four leaf clover pie. The bright green center smushed between the tines to satisfy my sulking. Sebastian, my cousin, had planned this intervention right down to my order. A lucky slice of Desdem Desmona's desserts lifted your spirit all day. This line is important because down here it says, you know they say Desmona's lucky pie can, can turn anyone's day around. Isn't that incredible that it was able to pick up an el a, a common element so you can start to understand how fiction writing gets translated into the narrative instructions and then from those narrative instructions, ask it to write the fiction again and you will start to see some very common elements um, repeat themselves. And that's important because what we're after ultimately is that we can give it a set of narrative instructions and we get writing that closely matches our own, right? But I'm hoping this can kind of show you guys, this is how you can independently work on your beat writing with your existing writing. Take something you have written, ask the AI to break it down in terms of like how, you know, with the beats and everything like this. In this particular thing, we focused on characterization. But whatever you want it to do, dialogue or something like that, and understand the words that it's using. This is just one layer. So remember what we talked about. We talked about all those things that happen in the subconscious. We talked about how when we're writing, all of this stuff happens in our subconscious. We literally just did one component of that. So in a real perfect world, I would run this report on that piece of writing, I would want to find out the language that the AI says about my writing for each one of these components, and then use that for kind of like part of my mega prompting or um, elements of my, of, my, of my beats. The passage begins with Eli sitting with her cousin, Sebastian at Desmona's Desserts. It has that, but it doesn't have any information about how to write this. And as a result, we got flat crap. If I grab this, I'm gonna go with a new chat, I'm gonna paste all that back in. And now we're gonna start giving it the how. So now we're gonna give it more commands. So we're gonna say right here, and we're gonna say right in first person point of view from Ellie Bishop's POV. And she is sassy and um, this takes place in an imaginary, magical community in rural South Texas. This book should sound like a small town, uh, cozy mystery almost for a contemporary fantasy novel. More focus on magic and uh, the supernatural, like it's just normal everyday things. Sebastian, is suave, but he was an orphan raised by Ellie's parents. Okay. And, and so I'm giving you some more information and I'm, I'm going to say uh, the writing style should include interior monologue set off by asterisks and um, variation in sentence structure. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see if we get something better than the original. <gasps> oh man, I'm, I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> okay, so the, the instructions here never said anything about her fork. Does everyone see that? I have this sentence here. I poked my fork into the slice of key lime four leaf clover pie, the bright green center smushed between the tines to satisfy my sulking. And the AI wrote, I pushed my fork around the edges of the pie slice, the flaky crust crumbling beneath my touch. Yeah, this is only 3.5. So this, 
I would say that this is way more on par with what my writing is. It's not exact, but it's a lot closer to the original. And all we did was add commands. That is what I'm hoping is what everyone takes away from this and wanted to walk through the theory so you guys could see like the first step <laughs> is how many people are treating beats and they just say what happens in the story. It is night and day, the writing quality you get out of 3.5, no less. If you just take the time to give it commands and instructions of how it has to write. Those are absolutely critical to writing beats. Thank you for joining us on something wickedly cool in AI. Um, this is what we do in our lab sessions. So the Future Fiction Academy is eight labs a week. You can come live, you can watch the replays after, you get the transcript, you also get the lab report. So the five of us are the main instructors for Future Fiction Academy, and we work together to specialize in different parts of AI tools to come up with really innovative prompting and how to use these tools in our everyday publishing careers. So if you would like to join the Future Fiction Academy, we would love to have you because uh, it's a community that is AI positive and we're all working together to stay on top of this new technology before we all get left behind. So by sticking together, we, you know, for example, I kind of specialize in open AI and prompt engineering. Um, who here specializes in series writing, novellas and novels? Yep, and yep. And then who specializes in mid journey and all of the artistic stuff? And <laughs> yep. So basically, between the instructors, we all have overlapping skills, and we invite you. It has a three day free trial. We invite you to come join us and have fun because we love to play with this stuff um, and we love to share share it. So hope to see you in lab soon. Bye. Well, please don't shoot on me. Who the heck is this 3.5 and what did it do to our whole 3.5? And honestly, when this happens, I always feel like I'm a very basic bitch in writing. <laughs>